in yesterday's video, I talked about how <clears throat> within solo leveling arise when when global does release, you know, when it comes to starting an account, when it comes to being free to play, weapons is something that we need to look into and cater to. Now, within the video, I did sp I did specifically talk about SR weapons since those are going to be the weapons that we can quite easily get our hands on, and that the SR weapons are not to be slept on, and that even some would be classed as better than SSRs. I'm just saying. Now, but um, the two things that I mentioned is that the bow and the sniper are the two weapons that you want to focus on because these weapons are really, really broken. In terms of their damage and how helpful they will be with like certain bosses and fights and just in like in general like, even if bosses don't have the light or the wind um, advantage play you can still utilize these weapons and still do a great amount of damage now as you guys can see you know i've not i mean well my sniper's maxed out but not plus additional to get the hp defense and attack up but that's fine as long as we've got it maxed out where we've got the best that we can obviously with the sniper plus three is kind of where you want it at to maximize the damage and then with the bow i've only got one dupe that's kind of where I'm at, you know? Now, with all that being said, I was going to do a video to kind of test things out a little bit whilst I had my weapons sorted, ready to kind of use, showcase, etc. Now, a buddy of mine, I was in call whilst I was, you know, doing my thing with my solo leveling account, and he just said, just jump in, to run a game, see what happens. And I was just like, surely not. Surely I'm not going to be able to do a crazy amount of damage. And I just said, you know what, you're right, let me just YOLO it. So I did. So I did. So right now, there's like nine, from when I'm recording, there's like nine hours left for the next boss. Oh, no, yeah, nine, nine hours for the Icarus boss to go, and then we'll have our final boss. And um, I literally just did uh, a run where I made a few mistakes. And even by making those mistakes, I somehow managed to get 151. And that was the end of it. I was genuinely shocked to see at, at where the weapons are at right now. Because here's the thing, I knew that the weapons were doing a good amount of damage. So, you know, by investing into them, by leveling them up, I knew that the outcome would be something insane in terms of damage-wise just being ridiculous. But with where things are right now with my weapons, to achieve this, I wasn't expecting. So now I'm over, like, I, I'm kind of like giddy to kind of get them to level 100. <laughs> More, no. I'm giddy to get the the sniper because I know the bow itself is pretty strong as is, but that the, the the sniper is the money maker. The sniper is the damage dealer. That's where it's at. So I'm gonna redo the aggressor. Right, we're gonna try and beat 151. Oh, who's fifth place? 149. Okay, so we're uh, two seconds out. So let's see if we can beat that. Um, I did make a few mistakes, which I'm gonna try and rectify, and I'm gonna hope and pray that we can get to fifth place. So, yeah. So we'll do an initial run. Uh, so this is the team that I basically took. But yeah, look, 54, 40, I'm just, I'm running with it. I, I just didn't expect the sniper to be that powerful. All right, so basically I'll just give you guys a quick little, uh, look, I mean, this sniper, boom. Charge that bad boy up. It's ready to go again. Boom. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. It is honestly just so freaking broken. So charge it up. Boom. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I think I'm messing up it. Yeah, I did mess up. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, I kind of messed up there. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, no. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> we're under seven. Okay, this might be the run, boys. Hold on. Let me try and... Let me, let me, let me, let me try and focus up a little bit. Okay, come on, hit me. Nope. Sniper time. Boom. Oh, look at that damage. Look at that damage. Boom. Boom. Nope. Go. Shadow step. That will give my give me time to Oh nice, we've got a break too. Woo! Beautiful. And the uh, honestly the gun itself um does let me see if I can get a shot off here, nice. Nope. Shoot it. Oh just in time. <laughs> No, nope. there we go. Let's see if we get a break here. Nice. I'll drop the ult here. Why not? Oh my god. I think we got the shot off before we got here. I'm not too sure. I don't know if I dodged, but I'm hoping we got the shot off. Okay, get that. I'm actually going to go for the sniper shot here. New record. What did we get? 140. <laughs> Bro, 
this sniper is insane. <laughs> Oh, this sniper is... I mean, clearly the bow is the kryptonite for Igris. We know this. I mean, you can also rock with a shotgun, which is what I did beforehand. Um, but with where I've got these weapons, it's ridiculous on, on, the, on, these, on, on the power they possess. Well, predominantly the sniper. The sniper boys. Thank you very much. We'll take all of these. Beautiful. Well, that's going to help me out tremendously. We'll gladly take that. And there we go. Nine hours left. So, obviously, with the reward side of things... Um, yeah, look at that. That is insane. So, 160, 85, but more importantly, the reason why I cared is because when I made my recent video talking about these pieces, that this is the only reason why I really, really care about this mode, is because <laughs> I'm farming these pieces, so I'm kind of trying a bit now. Um, but it, it, I mean, that is just insane to see. That's that those like that SR weapon is that powerful. So yeah, where is it? Let's let, let, let's go over it again. I know I've gone over it many times, but this is where it's at. So with no dupes, um, realistically, at that on, on what needs to be achieved is you need to keep that five meter range, so that way you can you can maximize the damage. I mean, even if you can't make the range, that's completely fine, because I mean that you know th this is also I should also show you guys where I'm at with my levels, because um, I did kind of put it up just a tad bit. So. Four, three, three. That, that's kind of where I left it, right? So I was like, right, let me, let me, because once you get to four, it does require the um, these ones. So I was right, let me just get them to four. Well, I'll get this to four and then leave these at three. So, wait, what's the maximum damage on this? I, I kind of want to know. Hold on a minute. Weapon, Bob, and then max skills. What's level ten? God, damn. oh, this is gonna hit like an. <laughs> that's gonna hit so freaking hard. But again. If you have no, I mean, here's the thing. I feel like most people should have like at least a dupe or so, depending on how much you've summoned. But with how generous this game is at the very beginning, if RNG is on your favor, in your favor, then fair play. But yeah, keep the range at the very beginning. Obviously, once we get into the whole dupe side of things, um, that's when you get the charge up. So as you saw with me with my sniper with that uh, with that bar loading up, when you get the first dupe, that is when you will get the plus 160 percent. That is when you'll unlock the charge up for the sniper. So that is when a lot of damage being dealt on top of with a good amount of damage is already being dealt when you initially get the sniper so the first dupe just gives you an even more insane of an increase of damage plus two obviously puts up the wind damage so if the enemy is weak to wind this sniper is putting them in an absolute body bag and then plus three is where you truly do maximize the damage output for the sniper so you realistically don't need to go the full length as long as you can get the additional three dupes into the um, west wind sniper then you're completely fine because this is where you'll get the west wind effect where um increases the damage of the secret bullet attack by 30 percent and it can stack up to five times um, when secret bullet fails to hit it deletes all stacked effects obviously in a boss situation like i was it's a single boss and if we time our attacks correctly we're maximizing the the plus 30 percent up to five stacks right we're not going to miss a shot we're making sure these shots hit and by that the overtime damage output from this sniper is disgusting um and then of course with the remaining hits it's more to do with the cooldown which is beautiful and then when landing a crit um then the uh, then the cooldown decrease time goes down by nine seconds now a lot of people now are building crit builds for Jim Wu because that's right now the, the the best build which i'll do on a separate video because i do want to showcase something and because of that uh this sniper is basically a weapon to always carry around with if you have the katana you know the the plum flower sword that is pretty much the best combo right now in terms of maximizing the that that that, that crit hit here for the cooldown so that as you saw in the aggress fight that i just did my um, my skill was instantly active for, the, for for that second time round. So I got lucky there. I'm not gonna lie. I got really really lucky. So yeah, this right here, I as the, uh, I, I don't want to say it's the best weapon in the game because I I still want to give it to the katana to be saying that that's the best weapon in the game. But for an SR, it's the best SR in the game, and I would say this is probably like top three, top three weapon in the goddamn game. Maybe second place. This sniper is too broken so yeah global when this game drops and you pull the sniper level it up this is going to be the weapon which i feel like a lot of people 
when they get their hands on are going to work on are going to level up and i feel like with all the issues and problems and difficulties that we've had with bosses and whatnot oh yeah this should do the trick uh yeah this should, this should do the trick <laughs> as long as we shadow step correctly and kind of give us that that room um and the distance we are going to be a-ok -okay with this badass weapon and then of course the bow how can i forget i mean the bow did its job you know can't go wrong with that and you know it, it did absolute wonders um but as an overall weapon it is the west wind that is going to be more favorable and more better in multiple situations so just an fyi but the bow itself is still fantastic but the sniper is just overall better weapon to have for all situations so yeah there you go work on the sniper boys work on the sniper 